And in this video, we're gonna take a quick look at how to create a raise in Swift. Um, it's very similar to basically any other modern programming language. So we're gonna focus on Swift, but if you are from different programming language or if you're comfortable with a different programming language, feel free to translate this concept over into your own uh, language of choice. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So I have this uh, simple function to show you how like, you know, we create arrays in Swift. So when we create arrays in Swift, we simply uh, create the variable and assign them with a value. Now this defines not only the size of the array, but type of the array as well. Okay, so this time this array is going to be a collection of integer. That's what this uh, denotes. So compiler already gets an idea basically what this array is all about. Now, if you want to create an empty array, you can simply create an array with its type and type can be anything and then initialize it. You can create an array by, with this and then you can start appending values into it. You can also create an array like this with shortened method where you define, you put the type between the square bracket and then you initialize it and then you create another integer array. You can create arrays by defining, by giving it uh, basically a type inference. And then you actually just assign it with an empty array that also creates an array, all right? If you wanna retrieve value out of array, you simply access that by using the index. So you supply the index and you get the value stored at that index, okay? If you wanna loop, through um, items on the uh, in the array. There are two ways, basically, in Swift. Uh, there's one way where you can actually do for in, and most of our programming languages also have this for in loop now, where you can say for item in array, and then you print the item, or you can actually enumerate, uh, or you can say dot enumerated, and you get not only the item, but the index of the item as well. And you're gonna see that example, like, you know, when we come to the questions, uh, problem solving part, uh, we're gonna use leverage that fact uh, quite a lot, okay? Now, how do you add elements? You have already seen how do you add element in the array, but once again, using append function, you can add um, uh, a new value into the array. And if you wanna remove something, you can, you can do remove last or remove at, um, at location and stuff like that uh, within the array. So you can do that too in Swift, okay? So that was a quick intro on the array. Uh, we haven't gone too much deep into arrays because they're such a common data structure. I'm pretty sure you're like very familiar with it. So I'm trying to actually uh, keep this time uh, and let's go and solve real interview questions um and learn like you know about them and when we get to these complex data structures like linked lists tags trees and all these then we're gonna spend enough time basically understanding the basics uh how they are structured and everything but arrays is like you know are rather easy concept to grasp so that's why we're not going to spend too much time into that okay so in the next video we're going to basically from the next video on um, for this section uh, we're going to actually uh, look at some of the real interview questions uh, that have been asked in past uh, by major tech companies uh, that are uh, that belong or can be solved using arrays by manipulating arrays and stuff like that okay so we cannot uh, do that uh, starting the next video for this section okay thank you and i'll see you at the next video